Hello everyone, my name is Veritas and welcome back to Destiny. Now today is Tuesday, reset day. That means all of your activities have been reset, things have shifted, moved, and changed. Moving into the Crucible, first things first, you have your featured playlist for the week. Combined arms here, and Freelance 3v3, 10 legendary marks for your first three completions of those uh, if you want those marks there. And Elimination is active while Trials is not. Moving down to your featured stuff on your main screen here, we've got the daily featured Crucible activity which is Rift, 15 marks there for your completion. Daily Heroic Story, 15 marks there as well for that completion. Your Siva Crisis Heroic Playlist modifiers have changed. This week you have Arc Burn, Chaff, and Catapult. That means Arc Burn from all sources and greatly increased Arc Damage. So enemies do three times damage, you do double damage using Arc Weapons, Abilities, things like that. Chaff means you have no radar, so you're going blind, essentially. And Catapult means your Guardian Grenade Charge Rate is much faster, so you can throw grenades much more frequently. Have fun with that. I was enjoying the Zalo Supercell and Sun Singer combination using Viking Funeral, and the Zalo Supercell made bosses very easy. Moving into your Nightfall this week, thanks to the bot that someone put in my, uh, fucking, my Twitch chat, I can actually look at the Nightfall and actually see what it is. It is the Abomination Heist. The modifiers are Berserk, Specialist, Juggler, and Chap. Berserk means that enemies will not flip Lynch even after massive damage. Specialist means that your special weapon does bonus damage about 30%, while your primary and heavy do about 30% less damage than they normally would. Juggler means that no ammo will drop for the weapon you are currently using, i.e. if you're using a sniper rifle and you kill something, you cannot get special to drop, but you can get primary and heavy, swap around, juggle things like that, hence the name of the modifier, as well as chaff, so no radar, but that'll be interesting. Abomination Heist is a fun one, uh, Mongrel Ogres grasped from that, there's image on screen what those look like, Hunter Gloves, very nice, I like them, they're fun. Random roll, strike horde, need a, need a skeleton key to get those, so have fun with that. Moving into the reef this week, if you Head into the Vestian Outpost first, talk to Petra Venge. If you've done the Taken War quest line nonsense, you can grab the Taken Bounties for Queen's Wrath Reputation. Get stuff from that every couple weeks when you finally have enough rep to level up. While you're there, go ahead and talk to Varix, get your Elder Sigil for the week and your Prison of Elders Bounties. Once you've done all that, you can come back out to the Director and go to the Prison of Elders level 41 arena. This will give you a starting treasure box on your first completion, as well as pulling legendary marks from your uh, Heroic Strike playlist. So three here, three there, two, one, however you want to modify modify it, that's how you get it. Moving down to Challenge of Elders, you have the level 42 arena. This week's modifiers are Brawler, Grenade Kill Bonus, and Small Arms. It means your Guardian melee damage is greatly increased. Your primary weapon is bonus damage, while your Special and Heavy do reduce damage, 30% there across the board. And Grenade Kill Bonus means that you get bonus points when killing enemies with grenades. Have fun there, that'll be pretty interesting. Get your uh, Elder Sigils done and things like that. Moving back in out into Orbit, your King's Fall modifier this week, or the Challenge Mode rather, is Oryx, 16 Blights at 1 once is how you do that challenge mode if people are still playing King's Fall. Moving into Earth, you have your raid this week for Wrath of the Machine. It is Vosic challenge mode. You need to use the bombs during damage cycle to close the doors on either side of the room. The clean rooms have to be activated using the SIVA charges given during the damage phase. Two bombs, two doors, all rooms have to be activated, so on the third damage cycle you can kill him. First one, use two bombs, close two doors. Second one, use two bombs, close two doors. Third one, use the bombs to kill him if you want to, but that's how Vosik is done. Once you've done that, you will get the challenge mode loot, the uh, perfected ornaments, things like that. If you have done the Shax quest lines for Crucible, doing all the game modes, things like that, you can go ahead and head to Earth, talk to Shax, and get your weekly bounty from him. That is for control this week, I believe. You can do that while you're in the Crucible. Have fun, Nightfall reward from that level stuff, good stuff there. Alright, last things last, head to the Iron Temple, we're gonna talk to the last few people for your weekly reset, I will see you in the Iron Temple. Alright, now we're inside the Iron Temple, I already have these quests from last week, I haven't played any Destiny in the last couple days, so I still have them from last week, but believe me, go to Shiro and talk to him and get your, um, this corrupted land quest line, Plague Lander, this will allow you to do patrols inside the Plague Lands for lots of reputation, pretty good thing, actually, pretty good weekly quest there, grab that from Shiro, while you're at Shiro, pick up your weekly Iron Lord bounties, all four of these will give you some fun stuff, you can have fun with those, grab all four of those, go do them, lots of reputation there, they also reward you with Vanguard weapons and things like that they can so you can get like year one stuff like comedians shadow prices devil you knows things like that so be sure to have the appropriate light level on when you're up uh, when you're using those and the last thing you want to do is talk to Tyra Karm the archivist up here in the cryptarch area 
once you've talked to her, you can get the quest. Uh, I believe the Light of the Iron Lords, your artifacts of the Iron Lord quest line. Do this, perform noble deeds, and that will allow you to get uh, one of those uh, Iron Legacy token things to buy an Iron Lord artifact. And that pretty much does it for your weekly reset. That's pretty much everything to go over in terms of activities. Now to end the video off, we're going to go ahead and open this Radiant Treasure and pray that maybe, just maybe, the Destiny Gods are smiling upon us and they say, Hey, by the way, I know you've been wanting that uh, Arctic... Oh, gee, I thought I just discarded 3,000 motes of light. Okay, cool. Panic averted. Crisis. All right, we're going to open this and hopefully we get Arctic Survivalist. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Dragon's Bane. Oh, cool. That's the uh, that's the new um, bad juju ornament. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm never gonna use it, but it's it's pretty neat. I like that. I might throw that on bad juju. I don't have a thing for bad juju. Then again, I never I never use it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative, helpful, and to the point. I tried to make this one a little bit more uh, a little bit more helpful. Uh, that being said, if you go ahead and head to the description, you can find a link to Twitter and Twitch. I have been streaming a lot of Destiny in the last couple days, and will continue to do so until the future when I stop doing that. Anyway, if you want to see more live content from me, go ahead and follow me over on Twitch. I'll be going live later today, probably. And uh, you can see me play Destiny, hang out, listen to some music, chill, have some fun, things like that. Enough, enough of my other social media. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I very much appreciate it. And as always, until the next video, have a great day, everyone.